Hello students, in this video I am solving ISI 2018 subjective questions. 1 to 3 has been solved in the other two videos. I am starting from question number 4. So in question number 4 what they have given is that f is a function lies from 0 to infinity a is real and a continuous function such that for all values of x it is lies from 0 to infinity and f of 2x is f of x is also given. We need to show that the function g is defined by the equation g of x integration x to x f t dt dx is a constant function. Similar question also came in question 3 this year. So now is it is a continuous function as f x is continuous. So f t by t is a continuous function as well if t is greater than 0. Hence, by we can do it by fundamental theorem of calculus from fundamental theorem of calculus the function gx integration of x to x ft by t dt is a differentiable function. So continuity is a necessary condition for differentiability and differentiability is actually the sufficient condition for continuity. So you can say it and this is for all values of x which is positive and the derivatives will be g dash x. So f of 2x, 2x into the derivative of 2x is 2 minus fx by x. So that is f of 2x minus f of x by x, these two x cancel out, this equal to 0. So that is gx is a constant function for all values of x greater than 0. So that is, you know, here is one extra thing we have used that if g dash x equal to 0, for a continuous domain then g dash gx is constant as well okay now we proceed to the next question that is question number 5 question number 5 is about if f of r of r is a differentiable function such that the derivative is a continuous function the f dash derivative f dash is a continuous function moreover assume that for all x belongs to r this is true 0 less than equal to mod of f dash x less than half define a sequence of real number is also given a n where n is a natural number where a 1 equal to 1 and a n plus 1 is a function of a n for all n which belongs to a natural number we need to prove that there exists a positive real number m such that for all n belongs to natural number that mod of n less than equal to n. So this is true. This one is actually following a degrading series. Uh, so let's uh, do this one. Now as uh, minus half less than equal to f dash x less than equal to half. So integrating from 0 to x we get like minus x by 2 less than equal to fx minus f0 less than equal to x. So here we take f0 equal to c the integrating constant. So c minus x by 2 less than equal to fx less than equal to c plus x by 2. So now putting that the value x equal to a n we can get it like c minus a n by 2 just replacing the x values f of x so f of a n c a n by 2 for all n belongs to a natural number so for the next value also you can write replacing a n by a n minus 1 by 2 less than equal to a n less than equal to c plus a n minus 1 by 2. Let it be the first equation. Now, 
by induction structure I need to add a page over here now by induction structure we can write a of n plus 1 less than equal to c a n by 2 less than equal to c plus c by 2 a n minus 1 by 2 square dot 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 this will go on less than equal to c plus c by 2 plus dot 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 c by 2 to the power n minus 1 plus a 1 by 2 to the power n that is less than or equal to mod c into mod of 1 plus half, 1 plus half square dot 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 1 by half to the power n minus 1. And this n is outside and that is less than or equal to mod c 1 plus half dot 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 infinity plus 1 by 2 to the power n which is nothing but from the first equation it is 2c plus 1. Hence a n is bounded above this is the second equation whenever we get less than or equal to something so we get the upper bound similarly we can also write a n minus 1 is less than or equal to c plus a n minus 2 by 2 so Two minus a n minus one. So incorporating these two into the main framework from the first equation, we can write this is two square. This is c a n minus one by two a n. So that is from one. Okay. So now if we proceed in this way for the next part. So here it is c minus c by 2 minus c by 2 square. It goes like this e to the power n minus 2 a1 2 to the power n minus 1 less than or equal to a n. Now all you have to do just add the minus sign c by 2 square minus c by 2 to the power n minus 2 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 less than equal to now that rhs is coming here c mm, this is last time is minus c 2 to the power n minus 2 minus a1 2 to the power n minus 1 less than equal to a n so this is one rule that minus mod x less than equal to x now the total structure form minus c 1 minus half minus 2 square minus 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 less than a n here we can write minus c 1 by 2 to the power n minus 2 1 by 2 to the power n minus 1 less than equal to a n C plus 1. Okay. So, now right away we can write it like 2 of mod C plus 1. No, minus 2 of mod C plus 1. 2 to the power n minus 1 less than equal to a n. So, a n is also bounded below. That time we did it is bounded above. That is 3. So combining, write it here. Two and three, we get a n itself is bounded above and bounded below, so it is bounded. So that means there exists a point m equal to 2 mod c plus 1 for which a n less than equal to m which is equal to 2 of mod c plus 1 hence proved in the next video i will solve from question number 6